Hello from Utah and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today I'm sitting down with my mom and if you guys saw in the community post, uh, I posted and asked, it, asked what questions you guys had for my mother, Janet. Um, and so we're gonna go through those questions today and you know, hopefully uh, give you guys some answers to some questions that you're curious about. So if you like what you're watching, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Let's, uh, let's do this. Are you excited? I'm excited. This? Yeah? Are I'm you nervous. nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> Why are you nervous? Because I don't know what you're going to ask me. Because people make mean comments. Nah, sometimes. Sometimes, but it, it's okay. Yeah, that's true. I'm old, and so it's okay. It's not, you're not old. You're not old. <laughs> It's okay, I have thick skin. <laughs> but we're gonna do a Q and A, and we're gonna ask questions, um, questions that you guys have had that we uh, put up in the community post and um, asked you guys. So I'm just gonna sit down with my mom here, and uh, we're gonna talk all about, you know, her feelings on our move to Mexico and us living in Mexico for the last almost six years, almost mm -hmm. been six years, a couple weeks, um, and and get her thoughts on it and. Um, also, her thoughts on having such an amazing daughter, so. Yeah. So, um, mom, okay. tell us a little bit about yourself first. I'm almost 60 and I've been a nurse since 1987 as an LPN. I've worked in a doctor's office for a long time. I mean, 20 some odd years. I've been at the hospital for even longer than that. <laughs> Worked in the emergency room and on med surge. I also who, uh, was a phl phlebotomist. Who were you pregnant with when you worked in the emergency room? With my all three of my daughters, oh, and I got true. and I got to have ultrasound. But Candace jumped up and down. <laughs> I, I was got excited. Her on film, film, but yeah, yeah. I I did a whole day's work, and I went down, and they induced me, and out she came. <laughs> Tough. Tough as nails. And then I took her home, and we had an earthquake, our first earth earthquake here in Utah. Yep. And and the whole house shook, and I thought, oh my heck, the house is going to fall down around me, <laughs> but it didn't. <laughs> so Candace made an impression when she came into the world. I sure did. <laughs> I sure did. Oh, um, so for those of you that don't know, um, my... I am 33, so but my parents are since divorced, so my mom and dad are since divorced. Uh, my mom has three girls. I am the oldest of my mom's three girls. Um, and I also have some like half siblings, but all on my dad's side. So my mom has three, three children total. And then, uh, well, three, three children of hers. And then she has more two more girls through her marriage now mm -hmm. and then a bunch of grandkids right and you mm -hmm. you just had all those grandkids well uh part of them in your house how did that how did that go for you <laughs> it was really loud at my house <laughs> <laughs> our kids were very loud it 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 was nice to go to work and have some peace and quiet <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot though it was a lot it's a lot when house. you're an empty when you're an empty nester and you have uh, a lot of kids running around screaming and and playing with each other and fighting it's it's happy but it's like also you need your <sighs> moment, <laughs> moment. <laughs> Um, so the first thing that I'm going to get out of the way, because I know that we'll get questions on it, is my mother is happily married, not single. So please don't ask in the comments. She's not single. We, she does not have any single sisters mm -hmm. and, uh, she doesn't even have any single daughters. So no. we're all, we're all married now. Yay! We're all married <laughs> and out of her way. <laughs> yep. All right. So let's get to some questions. So the first one I have is from, uh, Janeth PA. Um, and she asked in Spanish, what was your first impression, um, 
of Fidel. He's handsome, for one thing. That's a, that's a bonus. <laughs> and he seemed, he was, he's really polite. I mean, he respects his elders. And when I talked to him, he showed me a lot of courtesy. And he just come across to me as somebody that was honest, that was hardworking, that, and he was good looking too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and and I just had a good I had a good feeling of Fidel, and as a nurse, I I can judge a lot of people, and I've run across a lot of different people, and I just felt deep down in my gut that he was he was a good guy, so I was okay. I think a lot of them feel that way too because you know they're following our family. So yeah. And that, me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which was another question we had. So, um, let me find the question. Because I want to make sure that you guys get, you know, like a, a shout out for the questions. Because I really do appreciate you guys putting all these questions. We had 442 comments on this post. Are you really? <laughs> Most of them were questions, yes. Some of them were not questions. Um, some of them were just really nice things that people wanted to let you know about. Which we'll also read a couple of those. Um, but let me find... Let me find this one question. A few moments later. Okay, so um, Monica Ocampo, who has been subscribed to us for a really long time. Um, actually, Monica. Hi, Monica. Um, she said, does your mom watch your YouTube channel and is she subscribed? Yes. Yeah. I watch. That's how I follow what my grandkids and my daughter's doing. <laughs> if I don't see a post from her every day, I, I think... Is she being lazy or is she, <laughs> or is she busy? Oh, <laughs> but that's how I follow my grandkids and see how big they're getting. And oh, and, I send pictures also. Don't let yeah. her fool you. But I she, am very busy. She does. She does, and she's busy, and I'm busy. But it's so nice to to go in there and see him playing, like out in the field and interacting with with her dad and with the coworkers that he works with and and that and. I love that dirty little face on that Dominic. He's I want to get a wash dirty. rag and go. <laughs> I think the cleanest I've ever seen my child is here. This is but, the cleanest I've ever seen him. But, you know, a dirty child is a happy child. A dirty child is and a happy child. <laughs> having a dirty face and that playing in the dirt builds up your immunity too. So he'll be more healthy. He will be healthier he'll be because healthier. of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, let's see. So we're going to get into some harder questions. Um, oh, no. I know. <laughs> Prepare for waterworks. Okay. Watch your dimples. All um, my girls have dimples. <laughs> it's true. We all have dimples. They all have dimples. Okay. So um, we have a question from Molly. Molly said, how did your mom cope when you and your son moved to Mexico? I recently moved with my daughter so we could be um, a family here with my husband in Mexico. Um, it's hard on everyone and is mixed with many emotions, what advice would you give, um, sorry, would you give to another mother whose daughter and grandbabies live in Mexico due to her daughter's husband not being able to go to the U.S.? So how do you cope with it, and what would you say to other moms in your shoes? At I'm first, already tearing up. <laughs> at, at first, I was a little hesitant because of what you hear and, and that, but I... Like I said, I had the gut feeling that Fidel would take care of them. And my daughters are strong, willed, strong personality. And I knew if, anybody messed, <laughs> and if anybody messed with them, they probably would take them out at their knees. <laughs> but, but the advice I would have is trust your gut. You know, I had a good feeling. I hated to see them go so far away from me because I had I did a lot with Candace and Diego and that when they were up here, and but I I knew that it was the right thing to do. You have to keep your families together. It doesn't matter the distance um, that you are. You just have to remind them that you still have you still love them, and you know they could be in a different country like. England or New Zealand or Australia, Mexico is just another country 
and you know there's airplanes that go in and out of Mexico <laughs> you know there's cars that go out but That's I would true. say you know just keep the faith and just watch and make sure that you know a mother has this instinct in her gut if she knows that something's wrong and if she feels like there's something wrong push it you know push it but mm -hmm. you know I think it was the the right thing for Candace I think it was the right thing for her and Diego and especially for those boys to be able to interact and be with their father and as a family that's yeah. it's family orient, oriented that's you know and they're learning special skills. Mm -hmm. I mean, I grew up on a fruit farm. And now Diego and Dominic are, are getting to learn how to... Uh, build houses. Build houses. <laughs> Besides build houses. They plant corn and they planted broccoli. and Diego plants beans. And beans yeah. and stuff like that. And that's mm -hmm. some of the skills that... There's some kids here in in the United States that have never had the opportunity mm -hmm. to just play in the dirt. Yeah, to play in the dirt. Play in the dirt, yeah. There are some, not everybody, but. Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree with you. I, um, yeah, I always kind of wondered, I don't think you and I have ever really talked about like what, well, we, so we had a lot of questions that asked, um, you know, what, uh, what was your initial reaction to uh, me telling you that we were moving to Mexico. Like, how did you initially feel about it? I was, to tell you the truth, I, I didn't want her to go. But, you know, I cried. Because my oldest child was going to be so far away. And if, and if she needed me, I, you know, I couldn't just fly there. And as a nurse, you want to take care of them. So, you know... It was hard. It took me a little while to adjust, but I knew Candace wouldn't do anything that in her gut she would regret, you know? Yeah. Or that I and I've seen so much growth in her. She cooks better than I do now. And she doesn't even <laughs> set the fire alarm off. <laughs> Where's your and I would never, I I never would have thought that Candace would be the one cooking at the stove. <laughs> To tell you the truth, I, I have cooked. A, I think it would. Be I have cooked other a lot sisters. up here, yeah. which we did have questions about that. Which one? Oh, I'm sorry. These dinosaurs don't don't mind Dominic just making sure he's, He has his dinosaurs. dinosaurs. <laughs> um, Molly, thank you so much for that question. I hope that that helps, Molly. Um, that leads me into my next question. So, um, yeah, Tempa eighty seven said. Um, good morning. Good morning. Um, did she like the pozole that you made last time, or does she like uh, does she like Mexican food in general? So the pozole was you remember the hominy mm -hmm. soup. Did you like that? I loved it. It <laughs> had so much flavor, and you know my husband, he thinks the Mexican food here in the United States doesn't have any flavor, and he loved that. But we didn't tell him it had hominy in it. <laughs> And we didn't tell Candace's sister that. Oh yeah, I didn't tell my sister that we put a pig foot in it. it. We took Either. that out before she could, before she saw it, the pozole. Or pasole. she wouldn't have ever ate it. Yeah, because she's weird she liked, about it. I think she liked. No, it. No, she loved it. Actually, she's the one that requested the pozole. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I just I don't ever. Well, she'll know now. Sorry, Nicole. Sorry, Nicole. Um, she'll know we, when she watches we this. We kind of slipped that in on you. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but I did put a pig foot in it. I did cook the meat with pig foot and all of that. Um, and it's, it tastes so good. It was, but we it was did really take the good. pig foot out. I even took some of it to work because we had so much of it. <laughs> and they downed it. I yeah. mean, everybody on my unit had had some. And she made this, is it Spanish rice is what it's called? Yeah, the red rice. The red rice, red rice. Mm -hmm. and and tortilla shells, and I mean, they were. <laughs> they said, "Tell your daughter she's a good cook." <laughs> you know, they loved it. We did. Too. We sent all of the leftovers to the hospital. So my mom actually works graveyards um, at the local hospital here, and um, and so we just sent it over there so that everybody on the graveyard shift could mm -hmm. eat because that was the least we could do there working the graveyards. Um, <laughs> <laughs> So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. 
Um, so we have Maggie Castillo asked, um, so my questions to your mom, what does your mom and the rest of your family think about you moving to Mexico? They're very supportive. My mom has shared a little bit of her thoughts with you on that. Um, does she hope y'all come, will come back, um, to reside in the U S one day? Do you, is that what you're hoping for? I think you um, and I have ever talked about that. I don't know. The more that I see see you happy down there in Mexico on that, I I don't know if you would be happy here. I know. Could you see us here? Because I could. That oh, that's to, gonna make me cry. <laughs> to, to me, that to me that is. Um, you know, I I really. I really think your happy place is going to be down there. Yeah. It's weird. That's it's, such a weird a, thing. It, you know, even though I, a mom wants to have all her kids close, and and that it is close yeah. to me, but I'd rather have you down there happy and enjoying life and learning, and your kids learning what they can, yeah. than being, being up here with me, because... Everybody's different. They all have their place in this world. Yeah. You know? And that's that's your place is down there with Fidel. Yeah, that's weird. I don't... I mean, I think about it, right? Like, I can't... Even though all you guys are here, I can't see us here anymore. I, I think <laughs> that's not... Here doesn't feel... Ah, uh, this is going to sound bad because I know she's here, whatever. And my mom knows this doesn't mean her. But, like, it doesn't feel... I feel very much like a visitor mm -hmm. now. Every time I, I hit... U.S. soil, which is really weird to me. I never thought I'd feel like that. And there's and there's probably a lot of people in other in other countries that feel the same way. Yeah. It it's it's who you love and who you're with. Yeah. I think that makes. Um. Let's see. Oh, they asked me. She asked me a couple questions too. So, um, she said, "Does Fidel have a good relationship with your family?" Yes, yes, I think so. <laughs> I harass him all the time. Yeah, my mom harasses him. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, how do you how do you deal with feeling lonely and not having your family close by? I call them a lot. Mm -hmm. I call them a lot. And you eat comfort food. Yeah, and I eat. I do. I cook. <laughs> I cook things that my mom would cook when I was little. My mom does this um, hamburger that she cooks in like a white gravy. That's it. It's just hamburger and a white gravy, and she puts it over legitimately like wonder bread right <laughs> she just pours it over like wonder bread buttered bread um and it uh it's one of my my comfort foods whenever i'm feeling like really really homesick um that's what i make and fiddle loves that too did you know fiddle loves that uh, I like know. he requests it he loves it so much which is crazy to me because he usually doesn't eat like a whole lot of u.s food <laughs> but he will eat the hamburger gravy so um Sorry I bombarded you with questions. No, that's what we, I asked you to do. But I can't help uh, but to admire you so much for having the courage to leave everything behind and follow the love of your life. Oh, and what items are y'all definitely bringing back to Mexico from the U.S.? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had to buy another suitcase today. Yeah. So we have four total going down with us. Um, what, what is, oh, I know what I got. I got the... I got the iced um, circus, the pink and white circus animal cookies. Right over there. I They're over there. I wanted to eat them. Yeah. I know. I wouldn't let anybody open them because we didn't, we, what, like we couldn't find any, like anywhere. And then I found like the last bag at one of the grocery stores. It's because everybody likes them up there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing that back. Um, I am taking back hats for Fidel. Mm -hmm. That was Fidel's request were hats. And that's the only thing he wanted. Oh, I do have, I do have something that my mother's been hanging on um, to for forever. us. Forever. forever. <laughs> and, it's, and it's participated in a move. <laughs> it's been through a move. And now I can show you guys. Um, even Diego was like, I've never seen one in person. This is really cool. So our um, silver play button for hitting 100,000 subscribers, if you guys remember when that happened, was um, sent to my mom's house. We could make sure that it got there. And uh, now we get to see it in all of its glory. So play button and the ring light that you guys can see I set up. So me and my mom look extra beautiful. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so we got our play button. So this is really cool. We're going to take this home and this will hang in our new in our new house. That's really, really neat. proud of this. Isn't yeah, it? it's been... <laughs> 
I've been taking really good care of that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, what similarities does your mom see in your children and you as far as personality, personality mannerisms, etc.? And what are some of her favorite memories of you as a kid? What do I see that's similar? Yeah, between me and the boys. I, I can see a lot of Fidel in them, but I'm curious. Like, do you see a lot of me in them? I see a lot of you. I see Diego. He's smart. Candace was always smart. He's devious. <laughs> <laughs> he knows how oh, that to sounds terrible. tease his I was kind brother. of a bad teenager. Uh, tease his brother. Yeah. Um, Dominic, my siblings. Dominic has that smile easy going that Candace has. I mean, it takes it takes a little bit to get her mad at you. And Dominic has that. Diego's the more calmer, you know, let's reason it out and that Dominic is will take it for a little bit, but then he's just like his mom. He'll go <laughs> Mostly in regards to my siblings. Yeah. And, and what, are some, what was the other question? Oh, the uh, uh, other one was, what, what are some of her favorite memories? memories? And I'm sorry, this was Giovanna Cuevas that asked this. Um, I remember my mom making you, all three of you guys dresses. Oh, I loved those dresses. <laughs> for, for your uncle's wedding. Mm -hmm. Doing your hair. You were always a blonde. Oh, I had the big bangs. Uh -huh. Like, the my poofy. mom used to have, the we poofy. called them the Utah, what were they called, the Utah Claw? Oh, I think that's what they called so them. But the big poof bangs that you had right, like, right here. And, and you then would, you put it in a ponytail? Yeah. So you would curl, you would curl down, and then you would curl off to the sides, and then you would curl back, and then you'd rat, like, with a rat mm -hmm. tail comb, is that what they were? Yeah. And you'd, you know, rat them out, and then you'd just spray them. I learned how to do that from my mom. My mom had those bangs forever, actually. It took yeah. us, it took us a really long time to get her to stop wearing her bangs like that. <laughs> um, the poof, they call the it. The poof. We said, you gotta get rid of the poof. Um, in fact, Chelsea, my, our, my youngest sister actually, uh, went as my mom for Halloween one year and had the poofy bangs in <laughs> yeah. an, in a, in scrubs. Um, but I do remember that. And then like the little bows and that, like I had mm -hmm. those big old bows and yeah, yeah, dressing up like that. Um, it is so so many of them. You took care of your sisters quite a bit. My mom worked a lot. You, t you she tortured them too. I did indeed. She learned how to be sneaky. <laughs> I did. Yeah. Yeah. She took she took my car one day when I wasn't was <sighs> sleeping. I was drove. a teenager. Yeah. I'm not, listen, everybody makes bad decisions as a teenager. Yeah. I <laughs> was not immune to that. I and also I, made bad decisions. All this, a lot of this stuff I learned after they became adults and moved That's out true. of the she house. That's true. She had no idea until we, until we were adults <laughs> and moved out and we were like, now it's safe to tell you that we were, we were sometimes <laughs> terrible devious. children. Yeah. <laughs> um, we never, we never got in trouble, like in trouble in trouble though. Mm -hmm. That was the good thing. Like no, we they never, were, they were good kids. Yeah, <laughs> you know, we were good kids. We just, you know, we're sneaky. Have a record. <laughs> <laughs> no records. <laughs> okay, so glad to hear that you are spending time with your family, especially your mother. Please ask her how did she raise such a good, loving daughter? <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> and is it hard for her not having you and her grandchildren nearby? This is Yadi uh, Avetia Ambris. Yeah, it's hard to not to have them there to take them and go do things with and yeah. that um i gotta how did i raise a loving daughter you know what <laughs> little does she know she has a lot of me in her no i already know that i'm proud of it i you know i'm pretty easy going it takes a lot to roll my, you know get my feathers up yeah. uh she has a little bit of her dad but She's more, she's more easygoing like me. Yeah. I just. I agree. I mean, we could be best friends if she wasn't my daughter. <laughs> oh, we're best friends anyway. I know. Don't tell I my other two to... sisters. No, it's okay. So, you can but... say, you can, you can say, I'm not the favorite, but we all know that I am. I am the favorite. No, all my I know you have, I know you can't say it because you have three of us. I can talk to them and that Candace it's just uh 
she's my firstborn, so it was, you know. Yeah. She oh. went to work with me every time I was pregnant. The whole time <laughs> I worked in the ER. I know. I still can't <laughs> believe that you worked like Up that. You worked a day. full shift on the day yeah. that I was born, and then. Didn't they come and get you, and they were like, "You ready to have the baby?" I I had had a bad shift that day. It yeah. was it was a busy bad day, mm -hmm. and I looked like I was ready to pop. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, "Let's get her out of there." <laughs> yeah, let's get coming. So she did. <laughs> um, okay, so Reina Ortega says your mama must be so proud of you and all of your accomplishments. Mm -hmm. um, did she know? Have a feeling. Did she know or have a feeling that you'd be a star one day? A very much loved and respected YouTube influencer that touches so many lives. I'm not famous, by the way. I, I didn't even realize, you know, what all entailed with the social media. But I knew her personality would shine through and that she would be like me that would try to help others in the same situation she she was in and uh that i'm glad she's a star because it was a so star. nice to go to a restaurant and she got recognized so like, <laughs> we oh. went to my mom's favorite restaurant but here in town I, i've got to tell you and we ran into a supporter uh -huh. and she was very hi michelle her name's michelle um we ran into a supporter, and my we tipped we tipped extra because Dominic made a mess under his chair with tortilla chips. Not a lot, but he dropped some, so we tipped extra. And my mom was explaining it, and she actually recognized Dominic. It wasn't even me. Did you hear her say that? She uh -huh. didn't. She said she kind of recognized me, but when she saw Dominic, that's how she knew it was it was me. And I I had had to tell Candace that as a nurse with a doctor that I work with, one of uh, her. Uh, an older gentleman was following her and his grandson. Wait, yeah. And thank you. They said, "Is your daughter on YouTube and TikTok?" And I says, "Yeah." <laughs> and they said, "Can we have a picture with you?" <laughs> so I had to stand there and have a picture with them because they recognized her. And I she says amazing. she looks just like it, except for just put blonde hair on her. <laughs> I think that's amazing. <laughs> so it was it was nice. It's it's nice that she's doing good things to help other people. Yeah. Because that's how I raised her. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. Um, okay, so one of the one of the questions that I saw I think the most often next to like what was your of course opinion of Fidel? Um was do you plan on visiting Mexico? Yes. <laughs> she yes, does. Yes, I am. <laughs> we had I told I've I've told them um a lot. I've told you guys a lot that we had plans in the works like we were working on plans to get everybody down there and then mm -hmm. covid hit. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, with my mom being a nurse, she was on the front lines of that essentially mm -hmm. and and uh work got really crazy. You had a couple surgeries yourself mm -hmm. that had yeah. to be you had to, you know, deal with in that. And, and so it kind of just got put on the back burner. But I think, I don't know, for me, it feels like we're all waiting for my house to get done. I don't know. How do you feel about that? <laughs> I know. I, I want you guys I to come to down do when the, the house is done. I was lucky enough to do, <laughs> get to do the virtual reality. Yeah. That's on here, through. too, if you haven't seen it. <laughs> yeah. And... And I already picked my room out. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That I was going to stay in when I go down there. I know it's That's the guest true. room, but it's going to be my room when I go down there. But I know she's in a smaller apartment right now. and It's a house, but yeah. It's yeah, like a house, but, small. It's, <laughs> but it's small. And so I'm waiting. That, and it has to get a little bit warmer before I go down there. Oh, yeah, because it's cold my, right now. I freeze to death. <laughs> Yeah, it's cold right now, and it even snowed here. Oh. Mari says, uh, thank your mama for the hard work that she does daily as a nurse. Uh, does she plan on visiting thank you in you. Mexico? Yes. Um, I can tell by your recent post that she missed you all dearly. Did she agree with your decision to move to Mexico at the beginning? Which yes. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she had her reservations, right? Because she's a mom, mm -hmm. um, and she's never been there, but... Um, and, and, th and thank you, because nurses and healthcare workers, everybody, uh, they, we've 
worked hard. We've worked long, hard hours. We don't get the recognition. Um, more patients, patients' families are more angry with the restrictions, you know, like mask mandates or whatever. But it's all to protect everybody. So, yeah. you know, it's to protect us because, I mean, we're working short, but we're working a lot of hours. And sometimes it doesn't feel like we're getting the credit or getting the pat on the yeah. back. Like, thank you for taking care of my loved ones. Yeah. And absolutely. Then there's so a lot think of a nurse today, yeah, basically. Think, a, think, think a, nurse. a nurse today. Or a nurse's aide. <laughs> or an x-ray technician. Or a Any, of them. Think Any a, of them. Think a healthcare. I'm sorry. Think yeah, a healthcare, healthcare worker today. Yeah. Um, let's see. Laura uh, Rivera says, hello from California. Hi, Candace. Hope your visit with your family has been grand. My question for your mama is... Um, has she been to your home in Mexico? If not, will she? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, you have a wonderful relationship with your suegra, which is Fidel's mom. That's mm -hmm. mother-in-law in Spanish. Um, how is Fidel and hers relationship? How would you say you and Fidel's relationship is? I think it's good. I mean, if he could understand me, uh. harass him like. You know how a mother has to harass their kids, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so my mom doesn't speak Spanish. Just only Paquito. Yeah, a little bit. But her and Fidel have always gone along. And Fidel, um, yes, um, Fidel has a lot. He holds my mother very on high on a pedestal. Where um, I shouldn't be. <laughs> that's my mom is his suegra, right? Like it's he he treats my mom with the same level of respect that he treats his own mother with, which um, for which Hispanic is nice. men is is very high. It's very high. Um, but. I will say, um, I think for me, um, what really, cause Fidel has always known that you guys have like a good relationship, but I think when he was detained by immigration, um, my mom sent him cards for holidays for all the holidays that he was in there because he was detained. You know, the whole process was a little over a year. Um, and so she made sure that he got a card for all the holidays. Um, he still has all those cards, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah, he oh. saved them. And she also wrote um, letters. And mm -hmm. so we would, you know, Fidel would have someone translate them for him there. And him and my mom would write back and forth. Him and my sister would write back and forth. Um, and so I think that for Fidel, I think that brought them a little bit closer because I think Fidel got to see how much everybody just beyond... Diego and I, you know, cared about yeah. what was going on and, and were there to support him, which I think was special. But yeah, yeah. he has all he those. Was, he, he is a good guy. And, you know, things happen, but, you know, we wanted to make sure that he knew he was part of our family. You know, it's like all my son-in-laws are part of the family. Yeah. I would spank their butt <laughs> if, <laughs> if they got out of line, or I would tell them, you but tell them. they always know in the end that I do love them, and I love Fidel just like, you know, he was one of my own, so. Yeah. And he knows it, which I think is really yeah. special, so. Um, so, is there anything else that you would like to say to YouTube land? <laughs> <laughs> keep watching my daughter <laughs> and uh, I hope she she helps other families because I know she has worked hard she's smart to learn the ins and outs of what has to happen and I know she was scared to death when she first started looking into going down to Mexico I was and what all the regulations were, but I have I have smart daughters, and she's my first smart daughter. <laughs> and her favorite. She'll admit it eventually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I love her to death, and I love my grandkids, and she needs to keep doing those videos because that's how I follow them. <laughs> that's how I know that she's okay. <laughs> oh, I call you. <laughs> And she does call me. I call. Sometimes she doesn't answer my I'm going to get torn calls, apart in the comment section for that. Everybody's going to be like, Look, how dare you? She does call me. She does call me. I but do. I work a lot, too. So yeah. It's Our schedules don't busy. always match up. It's, I know. It's, it's just a lot. We're busy. We're so yeah. busy. And she's... I don't know. I, I, 
don't know. I see my grandkids, so much of my grandkids take after their mother and their father. Yeah. Because Dominic, he's, he's going to be one of those little sneaky little ones like he's dead. No, he's definitely going to be the child that I'm in the hospital with yeah. frequently because of broken bones and Diego, mischievous things. Diego, <laughs> Diego can do it and he can figure it out, but he's smart. Diego's smart, but he's more of the he's laid cautious. back. Yeah, he's more laid back and reserved. Ta- looks at the whole picture before he jumps in. Yeah, no. Dominic would jump in. in. <laughs> <laughs> he's all worried about all the rest of this stuff later. <laughs> if you see how seen how many dinosaurs he's been carrying around. Yeah, he has a lot of and them. He ca- I don't know if he can count them. Yeah, he can but, count them. But he knows how many and what kind of dinosaurs that he has. He's obsessed. And he just, I mean, <laughs> she's taking a whole bunch of dinosaurs back to Mexico. I really so am. I out. think Customs is going to get mad at me. Like, if I get charged, if I get charged for having an excess of anything, it's going to be dinosaurs. It's going to be mm-hmm. plastic dinosaurs. Yeah. So, yeah. That. Well, thank you but, for doing this. I oh, appreciate no, it. I love I you. I know it's a little nerve wracking. Oh, I oh, love you too. I know. <laughs> All right. Well, we really appreciate you guys yeah, thank uh, you. putting questions thank up. You supporting. Yeah, 442 supporting. comments was super awesome. Uh, lots of questions to go through. I hope that we got a lot of them answered. Um, I did want to keep this a little bit on the lighter side because, as you saw, I cried a lot. I didn't want to make my mom cry. Um, so, but we really do just appreciate you guys, as always, for being here. I'm glad that you got to uh, meet my mother, uh, you know, and see us together. And uh, and our next visit, we can absolutely do another video and, you know, answer some more of you guys' questions. And if you have any question, more questions, to ask Candace and she can always tell me. Comment section below. Yeah. Comment section below. Or you can send an email. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, thank you so much, you guys. And uh, you. don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more of our journey here while well, living in Mexico. So have a good night, guys. All bye. right. Bye.